Hello. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? <laughs> Pokemon hat. Oh my goodness. How's it going, everyone? Flaming baguette. Twenty nine months. Ah. How's everyone's week going? Doing all right? You ready for Pokemoning? You know it is. Uh, he has a beef with me. <laughs> what? What did I do? It's, P it's Pikachu. Hey, Scorpio. A pulled ligament. Oh, no. Well, did you have to... You're going to have to do... Uh... <laughs> I know, but look how cute he is. Look at how much cute he is. I mean, who's cuter? I mean, those, those eyes, the eyes look a little shifty. I mean, look at that. They're like, hmm, it's giving you side eye, too. It's giving you side eye. <laughs> Hope you feel better, Scorpio. Kitty is always cute. He did have a nice purr when the, on the selection screen. But then... <laughs> yeah, that that seal dog looked a little, I don't know, derpy. So I was like, no. Nope. Owlet or uh, Rowlet looked uh, <laughs> looked looked the best. So that's what we went with. All right. Well, sure. We just started. We we have barely started this game. Uh, so I, we haven't even gotten out of, well, we got not, we picked our Pokemon. We've collected a few Pokemon. We still don't have a full party and, um, yeah, we're barely anywhere in this game. So it's just the beginning. You first picked Pope, Pope Leo. I knew I was going to have trouble saying its name the whole time. Rowlet is your favorite now. All right, cool. Of Pokemon ZA trailer. I was like, um, I was like, Hmm, that looks familiar. <laughs> But I was like, well, I'll tell you what my first reaction was. Um, uh, it's been pretty, pretty good. One of them got denied. It was uh, Pecker. <laughs> and I was like, what about Woody? It's like Woody Woodpecker. It's a little uh, Woodpecker Pokemon. And I, and I thought, oh, well, that's a good name. No, did not like that. So I think we call them Peckham or something like that. Um, but I would say, um, I would say, come on, give us a new generation. What are you doing remaking the old games? God damn it. Make new games. Stop remaking old games. I'm playing the old games. Stop remaking them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Gamora. But we'll see. We'll see. I want to hear I want to hear um Lissandra. I want to hear I want to I want to voice him. I feel. <laughs> Go check out my clips. <laughs> it was funny because uh I had just finished X, right? Or X wasn't a, it was just a few games ago. So feels like it, it feels uh fresh so anyway as always we can take a break and play a game like efc earth oedf earth defense force it does not have to be earth defense force it can be any of the games on the arcade list and if i beat the high score i'll put your name on the high score list i know they they actually remake them all the time but come on make a new game let's go johto I mean, it has a nice ring to it. Wow.
was very fun. Yeah, I don't think I have Let's Go Eevee on the list. I wasn't in the grass. Yeah, I know. I am pretty sure we have a Caterpie. So, so my main is po Poi, come on. Let me look at, uh, let me go to the Pokemon screen. So we have Poikamon Wienerd, who is, is a Caterpie. Uh, Peckham, instead of Pecker, we couldn't do Pecker, so we went with Peckham. And Banana Hammock, who's that weasel Pokemon. So everyone is, is equally, uh, Hurting, so of oh, us fight. Uh, tackle. There you go. That there was all the Pokemon, and I don't remember any other names. I mean, their actual names, except for Caterpie. It's a mongoose. Okay. What did I say? Liv? A weasel? Did I say he was a weasel? You sure he's not a, um... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Love you. Loving those names? Yeah, so those were all, I think, a lot of them were Matthew J. They may have all been Matthew J. Before Dexit. What's Dexit? What is that? What does that mean? I like all the new interface in this game. And it looks much it looks very pretty. Young Goose. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how y'all are speaking a different language that I don't even know. Okay, so there's uh, boy, come on, who is a Rowlet. Peck him, who is a Peaky Peck. A Wienerd, who is a Caterpie. And, uh, Banana Hammock, who is a Young Goose. Likened it to Brexit. Okay, so what is it? After this generation, Pokemon games will no longer have all the Pokemon available. Oh, I see. I see what you mean now. Because you're right. All of them have been uh, available till now. I don't like this camera. Is this home? Is this mom? I'll just enter this house, random house. There's mom. Have you been having a good time? You look a bit tired, but happy. Take a little break before you head out there again, sweetie. I see, and you could you could get all of them. Gotta catch them all. No, you can't. So why is it called Dexit then? Shouldn't it be Exit or or uh? Can't catch them all at at catch it. Peck catch it. <sighs> I don't have the map yet. Terrible. Pokédex exit. The Dex. Pokédex, of course. I didn't think about Pokédex. Oh, I gotta rearrange my party. Otherwise, no one else is going to ever etch and sketch it. <laughs> you, gotta, you won't catch them all. He looks very angry. 
with those teeth. care for him. Does this really even matter? Does caring for my Pokemon even matter? Let's get the brush out. And let's brush him. Brush, 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 brush. It's not working. Get out the comb. Comb, comb, comb. Comb, comb, comb. Combing him. Combing him. There we go. He loves me. <laughs> Same since six. Oh, wow. He is cute, too. I was almost through. Friendship always matters. Okay. So you're saying yes. Shit, I forgot to rearrange him again. I don't think I have. I'll try leafage and see what that happens. Probably not very effective. That was pretty. Oh, yeah, not very effective. Super effective, but didn't really hurt. Switch them. Oh, do I have to physically get my stylus out and stuff? Oh my goodness, it's a whole different interface. Yes. Yeah. Outside the building and now it's working again. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm glad they fixed it. Now you can join us on our polka venture. Uh oh, is this a trainer coming to get me when the eyes of Pokemon trainers meet it's at all yeah mega evolution which I thought mega evolution was cool but it wasn't all that amazing it was just like one more thing Does he have a mustache? What's going on there? I don't know if String Shot really does anything. Holy fuck! <laughs> laughing at kick him in the ding ding that's what I, that's that's what I was laughing at
Okay, so he is a little bit different. Regional, I see. Because he grew up on uh, Hawaii or Aloha, Alola, or wherever the fuck I am. <laughs> What's the name of the region again? Oh no. Alola. Yeah. Okay. So I was right. Use game store and grab your first souls game. Cool. Well, I got I got the uh, the tournament ready. Oh my God, that's gonna take forever. So we're gonna start it when I start uh, Dragon Warrior. We're gonna start the tournaments, the picking of this game versus that game, and it's gonna take a while. Yeah, the Souls game always feel. Hard. Oh my goodness, we gotta care for Do I always have to care for my Pokemon? I lost, but it was still exciting. Now give me your money, little kid. 60 bucks, that's it. I have the I have the other screen at a lower frame rate. Doesn't need to be at a higher frame rate. Hope welcome Raiders. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? How was your stream? What were you up to? Super Mario RPG? Oh, you started a new game! You started Super Mario RPG. How did that go, Hope? So fun. I really enjoyed it when I played it. And now I can say this again. Stop remaking old games. Just play the old ones. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I, I think it's good that, that they're remaking old games. Because then you don't have to buy all this old hardware like I have. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Oh, Cass. Thank you for gifting us a uh, well, everyone coming from Hope June, I'm Jay Fries, retro variety streamer, playing my 136th game, as I have played 135 games, and working my way through all of the Pokemon games. As I've played all the pa Paper Mario, all the Legend of Zelda, all the Metroid, all the Castlevania, all the other games, all of them, all on stream. Oh, we're working our way through Super Mario. Thanks for the follow. Um, we play arcade games off the arcade machine. We play Fry's Quest, a game that I created just for the stream. Which I need the time for. I, I guess I just need to take some time off from work and work on it. But it's just like, I don't know. It's busy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks again. Let's do, um, let's play clip. I love clips from Bo. Love Hope's Clips. All right, here we go. Let me turn down the music for Pokemon. Let's see it. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh, it's another raid. It's Majora's Mask. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Welcome, Knight. 
It's a night raid, right in as we were watching a world. I hope June Street. Uh, a fish in a bottle would be the last thing I describe as deliciously fresh. But, you know, it is what it is, you know? We just had a raid. <sighs> Welcome, everyone. Dead by daylight. How was Dead oh, by Daylight? Oh, no, I didn't mean to dump it on the ground. God, <laughs> this is it. the one we played last time, Crap. Hope. Can I scoop it up? Okay. <laughs> scoop it up. All right. It's fine. <laughs> I caught a fish in the bottle. We'll speak with you first. <laughs> leave it. Leave it. Leave me something Those things were always fresh. creepy. I swear to God. Although I guess I that was in the last you. game. <laughs> well, this guy. This guy You're loves You were playing Deus Ex Mankind Divided uh, too. Nice. I bear no remorse. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. Dead by Daylight. I, I like watching people play Dead by Daylight. But, um, yeah, that's awesome. I think it's an interesting game, actually. Um, but thanks. Uh, well, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. I'm Jay Fries, retro variety streamer. Play a lot of retro games here. Um, this is, uh, I've completed 135. This is game 136 on Twitch. Coming up, we're uh, we're like two months away from my four year anniversary stream anniversary, and so which it all started with, uh, Willow, no, Ori, Willow, yeah, Willow, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I was already thinking to the end of the name of the game. That was the first game I played on Twitch. Um, but yeah, thank you. We play we play games off my arcade machine. We play Fry's Quest, which is an RPG that I built. And yeah, we're we're currently playing Pokemon Moon. Oh, I guess you know I should mention one of the cool things is we are playing it off the 3DS, and there is no capture card. It is wirelessly streaming to the PC where I'm capturing it. Uh, you you too can soft mod your 3DS to stream off of it. But uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the raid. Here we're gonna we're gonna play a uh, from your stream, and everyone should go follow Hope Hope June one two three and Night the Undying. If a bald man hair flips and no one sees it, does it make a sound? Persona Four. Okay, that is Let's on try. my list of games to play. Did you guys hear that? No, I don't think it does. <laughs> awesome clip. <laughs> the 3DS now has a Virtual Boy emulator. No. Does it really? I have thought about that. I have no um I have no um Virtual Boy games. Oh wait. No, I think I do have I have a Wario Virtual Boy game. And I figured I'd figure out a emulator or something like that. <laughs> but you're saying it's on the 3DS, huh? I figured I'd figure that out. I would figure that out when I had to, and I wouldn't wasn't gonna fret over it for now. All right. Oh, let me. I gotta turn on the audio again. All right. We we are. Ve you caught me right at the very beginning. Uh, we haven't done much, and the frame rate is terrible. Here I was just like talking up this game, uh, streaming it from my 3DS. And I could barely frame rate it. It's meant to be a hidden gem. Oh, okay. That's what I've heard. I've heard it's actually good. It's the only good game on the Virtual Boy. I'll show you my sister who I'm super close to. I'll show you my sister who I'm super close to. What does that mean? Is that going to be is her Pokemon, her sister? At least this is no longer. So la Lass was usually, look at my butt. And now they've gotten rid of that animation. So that's good. She's still doing that. No. Oh, and I chose uh, Rowlet as my starter. Rowlet! What? Ah! Rowlet. Here, well, we're going to move Rowlet closer. Although you can't really see him. Oh, well. Oh, he can destroy this. Oh, I got Peck. Oh, I got Peck. Oh, okay. 
Is Rowlet like flying grass? All right. Thank you again for the raid. I hope you have a great rest of your evening night. Take care. Aw. That's cute. Cute emote. Oh, it's waiting for me. <laughs> why is it? Why is it? Why is it sitting there showing my Pokemon? Boom. That was super effective. Do I have to look? Do I have to do do Poke Care every time? I'm getting I'm getting this is this is making me tired of the Poke Care. don't think so but i am compelled to do it pass what if my i don't want my pokemon to hate me i have a tight bond with my pokemon so far i don't like the um i like the camera oh my pokemon's dead i should go back I'm not going to care for him this time. Oh, oh, you're right. It did say that. Yeah, you can use it to get rid of status effects. Oh, I forgot. I, I, one of my Pokemon fainted on that first battle. So we're going to go back and see mom. Of course, I'm going to get attacked. Oh, it's the it's the young goose. So, so what? <laughs> well, that's not fair. How are you gonna name it if you're not here? Whatever it is, call it butt plug. All right. We will call it butt plug. We're running home to get healed since one of my Pokemon died. All right. Have a good one, Zap. Well, what if it is would not make... Like, that's what you should have named the, the Mongoose or the Young Goose. Or Lemmy, Lemmy Winks or something like that. Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks. Yeah, I can't wait to get the stick of the truth. <laughs> or stick of truth, not stick of the truth. There's no the in it. Bum, bum, bum. I do like uh, the Pokemons are much, ch much, so much more chill than uh, action games that I usually play. Well, that's shitty. I don't even think String Shot does anything. I mean, I think it lowers its defense or something. Speed, that makes sense. All right, let's switch Pokemon. Uh, we'll bring out Peckham.
Oh, it hurt, Peckin. Everything is just so much more polished in this in this version. I'm impressed with how polished this version is. I guess this is what the second DS game. Well, it's the 2016 game, so it has to be near the end of the life of the 3DS, right? Because when the when did the or is that about when the Switch came out? It seems like that's when the Switch came out. <laughs> that's what I've heard. I was thinking that when I said that. I was like, oh, I've heard that Scarlet and Violet are uh, not, not very polished. Ultramoon was the last Pokemon from 3DS. Okay. Oh, look, here's one we don't have. I don't know if I want to call this one Butt Plug, though. And it's another bug. Well, it's nice it shows your moves on the screen when you're selecting your Pokemon. You don't have to remember. I like it because you don't have to remember anything anymore. I'm afraid I'm going to kill it with this pack. Oh, I didn't, but it was super effective. I have a shortcut to Pokeballs, too. Alright, so... So Matthew J already has the name right, so we're gonna call it Butt Plug, right? Oh no, Evil Bud. Matthew J's already done it. But I'll give you the next one. Litton didn't make it to the couch. I don't know if I would want uh, Lediba uh, up my butt. <laughs> its name is going to be Butt Plug. They communicate with one another using bodily fluids. That give off odors when they're angry. Their odor smells sour. Well, there you go. That, that makes me think of Dr. Strangelove, where the guy is obsessed with their precious bodily fluids. <laughs> okay. I don't remember that. You've probably never maybe seen have that. I, movie. Maybe I haven't seen that. You've probably never seen that movie, yeah. but it's uh, sort of a parody of nuclear war uh, done in the early 1960s and famously Peter Sellers played three parts. Um, and uh, and so a general uh, or a, an Air Force general uh, basically starts a nuclear war. Yeah. I've definitely to, seen scenes from to, it. To preserve the precious bodily fluids. I, I see. It's a weird rant he does trying to explain it to somebody. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, butt plug, Matthew J is probably gone, and butt plug is not an allowed word. <laughs> well, I guess we could, uh, let's see. Try right, plug butt. Plug butt? Okay, we'll do that. And yes, Hope June, I am streaming it from my uh, 3DS. Um, I have soft modded the 3DS uh, in order to uh, uh, in order to do this. Okay, that works. Like what? 
<laughs> Thanks, Richard. How are you doing? I bet you would have seen through that. I like plug butt. That's actually funnier, I think. We're really here for the comedy of the name, I would say. Yeah, so, uh, Hope, it's, uh, there's a way that you can soft mod your DS. Now, then you can't take any updates on it anymore once you do that. And then you run this thing called Snickerstream on your PC, and so it's wirelessly, wirelessly streaming to my PC, and then I'm capturing it. But it doesn't capture the audio, so you have to put a, a, a audio cable connected to the, the headphone jack to get the audio. So yeah, it's called uh yes, look up Snickerstream. So the the general's name is J Jack D Ripper. Jack D Ripper. Of course it is. And and the quote is I can no longer sit back and allow communist infiltration, communist indoctrination, communist subversion, and the international communist conspiracy to sap and purify all our precious bodily fu fluids. <laughs> To which, you know, I remember watching it the first time and thinking, what? <laughs> uh, no. I'm trying to think how it works. No, because um, that it doesn't. Because I have my my PC is wired. And so it's not going directly to your PC. It's going to, this is connected to your router. And then it's going and, through the wireless and network. it's going through the wireless network. Yeah. It's not, it's not actually peer to peer. Well, I guess it is peer to peer, but it goes through the router. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is, is connected as well. Who am I fighting? Is it Caterpie versus Caterpie? We will switch to. Uh, heck him. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, you have to put the IP address, the internal IP address, in, in it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's works pretty well. It, you can tell it's not, it's not like, 60 frames per second or anything, but it, it works. Actually, no, the only other way to do it would be to install something in your DS, which I didn't want to do. Yeah, or, or yeah, you have to. Like, you have to I've looked it. at it and I was like, Ugh, that's complicated. <laughs> now that I think about it, if, if you had sat down and watched that movie, you probably would have fallen asleep. I probably would have. Is it by the director of Clue? No, it's by Stanley Kubrick. Oh, okay. Well, I stay awake for the, uh, the Shining. Well, this is a dialogue-driven movie. I see. It's it's uh it's not the Pink Panther. No, the Pink Panther came out later. I say that because Peter Sellers is in both movies. Yes. You are challenged by preschooler Oliver. He only played one character in that, though. Yeah, where he plays a lot in in the uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah. He was supposed to play four, but it was too much. Wienerd, go, Wienerd. Go, Wienerd, go. Go, Wienerd, go. Oh, <laughs> uh, Wienerd is kicking my, or uh, whatever, this mongoose, young goose, is kicking my butt. Let's switch. Deciding which one to go with. 
You're in charge, Peckham. Boy, he has a leer with those teeth. That leer scares me. Death. Take or death. Yep. You're, if you're strong, please go away. Give me your money, little kid. <laughs> Lyra is scary in real life, too. It is. All right, where are we going here? Oh, I see a Pokeball over there. Paralyze heal. It looks like we're heading to the Luau. Cool. <laughs> I'm just impressed with the UI. Good. Neil, how are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. Ah, uh, Peckham died. Uh, let us use... We're going to use Poikamon. Peter Piper pecked. Peter Piper pecked the peck of peppers. Peter Piper. Peter Piper picked a peck. Picked a peck of peppers. Of purple peppers. Purple peppers. I've I never don't heard know. purple I was, peppers. I was just adding a, another word in. I guess you added that. Peter Piper picked a peck of peppers. Yeah. It's uh. It's fun watching the captions. <laughs> well, like he fainted, he shrank. How many purple peppers did Peter Pecker pick? Peter Peckin pick. I don't know. Whole pack. What's in a pack? I think there are so is many. Is that two hundred fifty-five? Or is that a gross? That's a gross. All right, we gotta switch off this. We'll, we'll switch to banana hammock. A pack is a unit of dry volume equivalent to two dry gallons, eight dry quarts, or sixteen dry pints. Okay. Or one quarter of a bushel. So if you get like a bushel of apples, it's uh, a lot of gallons. <laughs> well, you don't usually do dry gallons. Uh, like you get like berries sometimes by the pint or the quart. It's not something that is super used anymore, but you do sometimes see um, produce bagged in peck or half peck bags. Yeah, how much is a bushel? Well, if, a, if, a, if a peck. A peck, a bushel, a gross. I don't think a, a gross, I think a gross is a number and not a volume. Oh, okay. thought it was like a gross of arrows.
guess I'm making shit up. I thought grass would be good against that. I guess not. A bush is a bushel is four pecks. Oh, a bushel is four. I didn't realize it. A bushel is 144. I thought I thought it was like that too. A bushel is is larger than. A bushel is and four pack. pecks. It's interesting that a bushel is in is measured in in whole pecks. Well, there are four pecks to the bushel, <laughs> and there are two gallons to the peck, and there are eight quarts to the peck. However, the term bushel is often used in grain uh, as a as a weight to volume, and it actually it depends on what grain you're talking about. We're not. We're, no. What it it was from Peter Piper peck, picked a peck of per, of peppers, and then I don't know why he said that. Uh, something you said. Uh, or, or, Orville Peck Pick. Oh no! Well, I, yeah, I have. It was I have. It was one of my Pokemon is called Peckham. And it made me think of that. Uh, oh, two packs is a gallon, and the four packs is two gallons, which equals two bushels. Well, that would be. Uh, no, a peck is two gallons. Oh my goodness! A peck is two gallons. So a bushel is. Four pets, or eight gallons. <laughs> the Alo Alola region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our t our festival, or testival, I thought it said testival for a second. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our side. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may be, there may not be many of us, but at least every one, last one of us here goes all out. Oh my goodness, is there gonna be some sort of festival? Are you here or for a the festival? festival? It's Iki Town. The place where we give thanks to Pokemon. Do we know? Is this a mom bitching out as her kid? If you treat your Pokemon wrong, the guardian deity will strike you down with lightning. Wow. That's, uh, that's harsh. But the children all laugh when I tell them that. <laughs> and then there's lightning. My little brother is always coming home covered in mud, just like his Pokemon. The two of them are more alike than he and I are. Maybe he is. I, I just born of. I just Pokemon. put. I just put what they are in in the chat. One U.S. bushel is eight dry U.S. gallons, or four U.S. pecks. Opening a window lets night come creeping in. If you leave one open, it'll make you sleepy. Didn't you know that, Neil? What? Both Pokemon and people grow sleepy after eating a lot. That's a fine time to sleep deeply and wake up a glorious morning. Wow, it was so, you, it was so helpful coming into this house. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Oh, you know, we need to... Is there like a Poke Center here? Can we please get healed? Who are you? It said th that ancient people rode over the waves and seas together with their Pokemon to settle the Alola region. Different people interact with Pokemon in their own different ways. Some see them as allies in battle, while others just enjoy sharing their lives with them. There you go. So confusing. <laughs> yeah, I know. You didn't realize that it's 35.3. Two three nine zero seven zero one six six eight eight liters, which is approximately nine point three zero nine two U.S. fluid gallons, which is approximately seven point seven five one five imperial gallons. 
for those of you in the UK. In fact, most people oh. don't use most people don't use dry gallons. You sometimes yeah, see dry. You don't hear you about dry gallons. You sometimes hear about dry quart, quarts or dry pints because, like I said, like strawberries often come in the pint. How oh, ho? How's it, J fries? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Popolio. Cornholio. Popolio, of, been waiting for ages. It's Lady Chuckleton. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome. You were playing Jack and Daxter? You know, I, I, Jack and Daxter is on the list for me. Uh, which, da which Jack and Daxter is that? Obviously the precursor of Legacy. I've played the original. I've played maybe the first two Jack and Daxters on the PS2. But I haven't played any past that. But thank you, the first one. Well, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. I'm Jay Fries, retro variety streamer extraordinaire. I have, I have finished 135 games on Twitch, which the last one being Super Mario Brothers 3, which was just uh, Monday. And now we're on Pokemon Moon. And we play games off the arcade. If you're new here, play games off the arcade and... I have a game that I wrote called Price Quest that we play when I take breaks. And we're going on a Mario Gambit next. This game J off of your A to Z list. Oh, cool. That's a good way of doing it. You just go in an alpha, you just have like 26 in a row and just go A, B, C, D. I like it. Finally sit down and play for years. Yeah, nice. What is you? What is, what is your Q game? Or have you gotten that far? <laughs> Do you have you listed them all out? Is what I'm. I'm but what what is Q? What is Q? So I'm gonna be playing three Mario games next back to back. Mario World, Mario and Luigi, uh, uh, what's it? Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, and Super Mario Land Two is the the last one I'm gonna be playing. So, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Boom. All right, let's uh. We will play a clip. All games are secret. Okay. All right. Well, I wouldn't want you to reveal it in that case. I'd want it to stay a secret. All right. Let's play. Let's play a clip, ready? And y'all should give Lady Chuckleton a follow. Infamous. I think we've. I've played infamous clips on your. Uh, from your stream before. Ah, there's the sauce. You got. Oh. I have no idea what's going on. So you. The, the cops are shooting you. Yeah, like what was that? <laughs> the cops are shooting at him. I'm just standing there. Yet he chooses to shoot me. Yeah. The hell was that about? Yeah, you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Thanks again for the raid and welcome. <laughs> All right, so we were talking to this guy, Hal. Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Popolio. Okay, we we said that. Arf, said Popolio. Do we cheat him and Hal? Yeah, do we cheat him and Hal? Um, he, who does that? He's doing the Sora, the Sora move. The Sora uh, relaxing your hands behind your head while standing. That's a weird move. I've only seen Sora do that from Kingdom Hearts. That's weird. All right, anyway. Hold on. Didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? No, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Right on time. But to what exactly? A full-powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, hitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition. 
to please our guardian. Woo! Why is, is he Ric Flair? If he's not careful, it'll leave him Sora in the morning. Oh my god. <sighs> so you two will be taking part in the battles? I don't see like... Uh, I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they often end up getting hurt. But it seems like this is an important event, so I'll be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care in return, J. Prize. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Thank you. I was wanting that. <laughs> Is he a wrestler later on? Is he... Does he does he hit on my mom some more? Woo! Yeah. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Guess so, since you killed my Pokemon. Then let's begin. It's a fire. For all of our island for all life on our islands. And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts. We, we burdened pray, you off the we island. Pray, we pray for your protection for them and all of Meli Meli. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you stand, how grandson of the Kahuna. Before him stands J Prize, one who has met with Tapau C Coco. That's right. He saved me. Topo Chicho. Ch Tapo Chico. <laughs> it's a Mexican mineral. Who was water. who was the the um uh anytime they showed Ed Sullivan <laughs> which is before our time. We're we're kids of the seventies and eighties. Ed Sullivan was the sixties. Even so, and now Topo Gigio, like to that. Topo, Topo Gigio is a puppet. Is a puppet. Oh, okay. It's a mouse. It's like a mouse puppet. Oh, okay. I think Topo Gigio was on that show like dozens of times. Oh, okay. <laughs> like it would be just this because it was a variety I never, show, I, so they would show different segments. I don't think. Yeah, I've never seen a full episode of the Ed Sullivan Show. I've I've, I've seen the Beatles play on the Ed Sullivan I've Show. I've seen enough of like specials and stuff over yeah. the years that it was it was like they'd have opera or they'd yeah. have something from Broadway. Oh, okay. Or they'd have people spinning plates on <laughs> dolls, <laughs> you know, or or yeah. or. Uh, Acrobats or okay, you know, so it was, dancers. It was a very much was, a, a variety show. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then but, you had the Beatles. But you know, they would also have whatever was the popular music of the day. On. Oh, okay. That's that's how they came to get the Beatles. What? What a curious little thing, uh, ta <laughs> Tapu Coco is. Ha! Ah, that is just typical of it. Caterpie, take care of my little J fries. Oh, that's my mom. I didn't know she showed up. Mm. As great. long as we both have a good time, then I think we can call it a great battle, eh? 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 eh. I said eh, hey, man. J fries, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Whoa. We zoomed in on his crotch. That was kind of odd. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hal. Oh, it's a, it's not a Pikachu. It's Pichu. I thought it was like Raichu. Is that what it is at first? I thought it went right. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I do not know. If your mom didn't show up. Well, I don't know. Well, if my mom shows up, it's going to be a big surprise. I know. She's turned she's into a zombie. Dead.
<laughs> Battle of the week, bitches. Hey, Zeno, how's it going? I'm going to use some leafage. That sounds like something you use for irregularity. Yeah. Damn, it, it hurt him. Please, Hammer, don't hurt him. Level nine. Wienerd. Wienerd gained some. Uh, he's sending out that. That's a water dog. So we will keep this. Water dog. Or seal dog. Whatever. Leafage will still be good. Super effective. Great. Oh, what's waiting for me? Your water gun does nothing to me. It's already over? That's it, kid. You only have 140 bucks. Ooh, he. Another great battle this year. I bet Tapao Coco liked it too. He likes watching. Ooh, that I was awesome, Jay Fries. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. This, with this, even Tapao Coco. Coco Coo! Tapao! Oh, you heard it yourself. Tapao Coco's Song of Approval. <laughs> song of Approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it is time for you to take this, J Fries. Oh, yeah, you stole my stone. The stone that has the face of Jesus on it. Oh, what? It's a watch? D ring onto your wrist. What the hell is that? Your Z ring, a mysterious armband uh, that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It, looks it can like bring he's... forth their Z power. It looks like he's stand staring into the sun. Yeah, he's always staring into the sun. We kahunas, he's a kahuna, Neil, can make them by refining stones like the sparkling stone that you received from a pao coco. Topu, topu coco. Uh, <laughs> there's a Vulcan in Star Trek called Tapao, that's why I did that. Although, you, until you collect more Z crystals, oh, of course, during your island challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z power of your Pokemon. Oh. Ow. Is this why? Is this why the next Pokemon game that they just announced is called? Po po no, that's not true. Because it was X, Y, and then Z. Never mind. Um, and yet you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Coco took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out of there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. Every island? Four islands. 
You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The Island Challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer, the Island Challenge champion. Woo! <laughs> Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. So is this not like, it's not like the last game? There's only four champions? I'll explain about the Island Challenge later. Tapu Coco is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Phew. Me too. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone. Even though you're a stranger to this place. Thanks for making me feel welcome. <laughs> Even it's though you sit on your hand yeah. and give yourself the stranger. Yeah. Suppose it's time we get your kids home, yeah? Then I suppose this is goodbye. Ciao. Bye. Bye, Miss Yvonne. Honey, I'm home. Oh, boy, Pee Wee. Wow. Oh, Jay Fries, you're back already. I thought you want to stay in Icky Town longer. Especially right after that great battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his Pokemon. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try that island challenge thing. War isn't the answer. It's Do what? War is not the answer. Okay. It's something you can only do in Alolo, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed. I bet you do. I danced my feet off at that festival. Night night, sweetie. You can you you get some sleep too. <laughs> Are you here for the festival? <laughs> exactly, flaming baguette. <laughs> but he but she had to go back to the back to the bedroom. He was hiding in the closet. What beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring me. She still hasn't fucking unpacked. Holy crap, mom. A visitor. If it's Kukui, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. That's not creepy. Yeah, well, it's because he's, you know, effing my mom. Sweet. Her mom's a total whore. Yep. Wait. Oh, it's what's her name? It's get in the bag. Oh, um, Lily. The professor said, Woo! Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new trainer. Woo! <laughs> I like how the woo is in the quotes, too. She, she didn't have time to unpack because she was, uh, uh, she and the professor were having fun. So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab, if you'll come with me. It's, um, it's this way. J-Prize! Here, I, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Thousand dollars? What'd she give me? Oh, well done, J-Prize. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. Me? Ha! Well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. Look like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Caterpie and don't be gone too long. Didn't she say, be saying Rowlet? Enjoy yourself, bitches. You have a nice... You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. You know, they never have a father. They're always a mom, but no dad. It's like everyone has deadbeat dads. Um, I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. 
Dad's out finding Pokemon for them. I guess so. They they eat Pokemon. <laughs> we subsist on Pokemon. Soylent Green is Pokemon. No fool, it's people. <laughs> you have a dad in Gen 3. Yes! I do remember that. <laughs> Norman? Yep. That's an old name. What is your That's because he's normal type. Is your dad like 8,000 years old? Well, he's Norman and he has normal type gym, uh, Pokemon. Oh. It's a. Yeah. Exclamation mark join if you'd like to play Fry's Quest. Um, I will unlock it here in a second if there's no new players. If y'all don't know what Fry's Quest is, it's basically an RPG. Um, you can go to friesquest.com and uh, check it out. There's the instructions and everything. Or you can just sit here and watch other people play. But um, the, the commands have gotten so too many that I can't put them all in this little area right here. So I have uh, added them to a website. Yeah. yeah, if you played last, there's two more spots available. One more spot available. <laughs> yeah, there's no... Um, no relatives to your main character besides mom. That's true, too. We always, always seem to be moving, too. There's several times we're always moved into this new town. We're always new to the place. Not always. There are some exceptions. I remember there was one where we were in the... Don't you know who my husband is? We were Get in the moving van with the boxes. And I was like, that's, how, that's not how you transport the kids. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Hello, I think that's it. Are those the ones where we're moving? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back.
day only. 2% off when you spend 10000 or more. Those monsters ready. stole me lucky charms. Be ready. And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Ready for action. Ready for battle. Oh, I ready see you're battle. buying a potion. It might prevent death. Side ready effects might include growing mushrooms and warts and loss of sensation in naughty places. Ready for action. Shops closed. Have fun counting sheep.
the Neil's deal. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. Ready for battle. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Ready for battle. Those monsters stole me lucky charms! Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Give him hell, kiddo! Hello. Thank you, Flaming Baguette. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee oui, Baguette. need to port all my wee wees to you. <laughs> all right, Kronk, pull the lever. Sure, I will name it Kronk. <laughs> Have a good night, evil bud. Sleep well. Ciao. <laughs> I see. Thank you. 
Protect the baguette. I almost got this. <laughs> they can. Congrats, Scorpio. <laughs> Somehow you lived. Yeah, you all lived. No one died. Obviously, the monsters are not hard enough. We have to increase the difficulty. <laughs> oh, no. We have angered the J-Fries. You're welcome. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're back home. Am I supposed to go this way? I haven't even gone this way. What the hell? It's a vengeful creator. <laughs> exactly. Buar. Oh, I didn't turn on the music. Enough already, Tauros. Calm down. You're going to hurt somebody. Okay, so he's saying don't go that way. Not that way. Oh, that's right. I forgot Lily. I'm supposed to be following Lily. Okay, there she is. You can only reach the professor's lab by treating, treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he's when he is so surrounded by Pokemon. <laughs> Since I'm not a trainer, though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that using repel keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? And about Nibi. I mean, Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Phew. That's why it shoots lasers. Well, it always says pew pew. It seems to have a very strange power. It used the power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the professor and, and Kahuna, Hala, and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nibi or what happened on that bridge, please? Who am I gonna tell? I'm like a little kid. I'm gonna take out billboards. Yeah. Skyriders. I'm gonna tell this little kid. Let's go, kneecaps. Is he saying he's gonna attack my kneecaps? It's hard to say. Kevin. A grubbin. What the fuck is that? Her mom. Now she's back home. Get out of here, wienerd. You're useless. Bum, 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 bum. Super effective.
Uh oh. Wiener is evolving. Oh no, what's going on? <laughs> What? A metapod? Oh, is it gonna bust out? It's gonna bust out as a butterfly. That's right. Looks like something that, uh, Wienerd looks like a poo or something. You ate too much spinach. Oh, that's cool. It shows the little evolution. Its shell is hard. But it it's still just a bug shell. It's <laughs> it's been known to break, so intense battles with it should be avoided. <clears throat> it learned harden. <laughs> Looks like that's the one that should be called banana hammock. Moranoramic. A banana hammock view. Going. Where did she go? Who the hell are you? <clears throat> what the hell? Alola, check out my cute Pokemon. We Wiener learned Harden. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, it's a wingull. <laughs> it looks like a terrible Pokemon. Kind of strong, aren't you? Give me your money. Rock rough, let's go. Give it everything you got. Oh yeah, my body is ready. Woo! Hey, I am just reading it. Uh, knock knock. Uh, is it okay if we come in and disturb you? Do ah, there they go again. Do they um? Keeps using Harden. Do they write write this this way on purpose? <laughs> I mean, Are you saying it's, it's heavily innuendoed, or is that just us? I mean, yeah. Is it is it is it me, or is it them? I can't <laughs> figure it out. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually uh, been um, impo imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe it'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Row, 
rough, rough. He must have come, so it's okay. We can go in now. The professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like uh, we'll have to patch the roof again and had to just wash... <laughs> and I had just washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean, too. Now it'll be in shreds. He blew a hole through hey, the roof. Hey, Bear. How's it going? Welcome. I have no idea what's going on in this house, and I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. <laughs> Who writes the stuff? I'm curious if this is just like some sort of weird translation error. <laughs> Or, um, you know. <laughs> but this is one that's up there. <laughs> hey there, J Fries. Thanks for giving, getting him. Wait. Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. Of course. Of course. However, I, uh, I can be a help. However, I can be a help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rock Ruff's moves were just so stylin' and I was making good progress with my research. Say, J Fries, let me see your Pokedex for a second, eh? Yeah. So, what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> I think I've heard of Rockruff. That sounds familiar. See, there's a there's this Pokemon. Okay, I already said that. Oh, well, really? <laughs> I didn't see I was supposed to be doing that. Oh, I can tell you about Rot Rotom. It is a peculiar... Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence in machines. Ah! Yeah, buddy. And to put that crazy skill of Rotoms to work, it's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body, sp uh, to this body specifically developed for it. <laughs> A new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! <laughs> and there's only a few of these beauties in the world so far. And now, if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in. Let me guess. Hey now. Sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Rotom. Here, boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give J Fries here a helping hand, eh? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness, how creepy. <laughs> CJ Fries, now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. And this will help how exactly? J Fries hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him this special Rotom Dex uh, to help him navigate around. Nice to meet you, Rotom. You can see where you've, uh, where you're headed, just by looking at Rotom. And if you give it a little nat tap, you can even check out the town map. Uh, I guess I'm, I may need to increase the. Uh, do I need to uh, put? I guess I could put. Uh, uh, bottom screen. Above the top. Screen. 
Alola. The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa ho ho. Is somebody macking on somebody in this game? That's what it <laughs> it's like it's landing on thick. Is that a loft? That's awesome. No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, J-Fries? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, J-Fries, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after J-Fries, yeah? So, that's the Rotom Dex, huh? It's kind of cute. All right. There are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around. The Island Challenge Champion. Woo! It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola and a Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas you, as worthy, it is said you must clear seven trials. Okay, there are there are seven. I was going to say, that's... J-Fries, I want you in Lib... Libba... Led... Lediba to get out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon strengths, yeah? Let's do it. So, uh, oh yeah. As someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your island challenge. Here, everybody on the island challenge gets one of these island challenge amulets. Great, now an amulet? I have not won yet, Pass. But thanks for asking. I got an amulet. I got one from my Gramps, too. All right then, J Fries. You too, Hal. Get a move on. Okay. Okay. To the trainer's school. You've got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer th uh, through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming the Island cha Challenge Champion, and the trainer's school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm too... I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them, right? The Island Challenge... The Island Challenge. So this is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. Lily, you take care of J-Fries, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Yeah, is it time to beat up the preschoolers? Okay. Here we go up in our loft. He's like, it's private. It's private. Got a futon. Okay, I guess. Guess we're leaving. Go, plug butt. Oh, this is not a good idea. Let's go with banana hammock. Well, we have we have one already. 
And this is a this is a trainer fight. Oh no, it isn't a trainer fight. You're right. I thought it was a trainer fight. But it is not. But uh yeah, we already have evil bud. I can't wait to get better. Uh, no, I don't have it. I'm saying that Evil Bud has already is already in the queue for naming it. <laughs> I will try and capture it. <laughs> I'm not smart. You were very smart, Pat. You're good enough. You're smart enough. Gosh darn people like it. Oh my goodness. I killed it. I killed it, pass. Plug butt went up three levels. Now this one we do have. Supersonic do. Oh, it confuses it. Maybe it'll hurt itself. It did. Yes, finally. Confusion. <laughs> But you can do it. Holy shit. <laughs> or not. Or not. Oh, 
crap. Actually, I think we had one earlier. Faint. This one being so mean to me. there. Is that for the island challenge? Do your best to become an island challenge champ. I'll be behind you all the way. Have you been having a good time? You look a bit tired but happy. Take a little break from your head out there. Take a little break before you head out there again, sweetie. <laughs> I was like, what is she saying? What is she saying? That bitch is cray. A claw. Alright. So we didn't die. So according to the map, I guess we go this way? Or is it saying we can't go this way? Hold on a moment. Let me show you the Pokemon Center first. I guess I could have healed here and not at my mom's. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. Well, look at that. The computer has upgraded. Yep, definitely. You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. And that, and at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that would help you during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. What's over there? Over there is a cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo milk. I read somewhere in a travel guide about Alola once. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. The cafes also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats, and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. Well, I got a job where people bring me Pokemon in pain all day long. <laughs> we should head to the trainer school next. But have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think they need it. A little aid. Uh, how many? Po oh, okay. We have five Pokeballs. I guess I should get more. How many Pokebucks do I have? Oh, I got plenty. I have 10 potions. Antidote. Let's get a few antidotes. And a few paralyzed heals. And some awakens.
Um. Sure. Let's get a few burn heals. A few ice heals. And we'll get an escape rope. It's always good to have at least one escape rope. And I actually don't get repel. It's um. Thank you so much. Thirty-eight months. Thank you for being one of my top subscribers all these years. Thank you so much. In a row? <laughs> you know, it's thirty-eight, not thirty-seven. All right, let's take a. Uh, with it. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. Lemonade, Moo Moo Milk, uh, Inap Juice. Never mind. It'd be funny if Never Mind was actually a drink. Um, I guess we'll get some Moo Moo Milk. We'll be 198. That is a weird number. Maybe they're doing like Wendy's and having surge pricing. I'm always sad that my subscriptions aren't at full, uh, aren't at full streak. Well, I mean, somehow Neil gets some as streaks, and he always uses his Prime stuff. A full streak of what? Like a full amount of time? Oh, or did you have a break somewhere in there? Just you're like that. J Fry sucks. I'm never going back to that stream. One Moo Moo Milk, just for you. This like a lot. I don't drink coffee, sir. Just one sip and you'll be hooked. This milk is a mellow, rich, yet rich. That'll, uh, that'll make you wish your mother were a milk tank. That is gross. What? By the way, are you going to Festival Plaza? You can connect with other trainers anytime. There's an exclamation symbol that lets you know when events are going on. You'll, you're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. It's an authentic food from Eternia City in the Sinnoh region. Okay, there you go. Yeah. A gifted subs. Oh, okay. That's cool. No, I'm, I was just... I was just joking with you, Justin. <laughs> yeah, Milk Tank is creepy. Insists on finding ways to make it weirder and creepier. <laughs> I guess so. That is why everyone's trying to get in with my mom. Oh, it looks like everybody has freaked out about Wendy's surge pricing so much that they're not going to do it. Oh, they're it not now. doing it now. Well, I think what they're going to do is... They're going to like lower it. They're not going to raise the prices. They're going to lower it in off peak times, but they won't surge it up. Yeah. Pokey beans are especially in Alola and Pokemon love to eat. Feed them to your Pokemon and Pokemon refresh and they'll become more affectionate. Okay. I guess I'm leaving. I guess I should probably save just in case. I haven't saved in a while. And I usually save after Mole Tank. <laughs> That's what it is. That's funny. Here we are! You see, the trainer school is. It's a. Uh, what in the world? Hey, some. What do you want me to play? Uh oh, it's some sort of wild bull Pokemon. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Turos there. But we're only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. <laughs> side questing games <laughs> yep 
I'm sure that's what it was. Kid Nikki. All right, we'll play Kid Nikki. Let me save. Who saved? All right. Asim X2 wants us to play Kid Nikki in our keyboard. Didn't use the full name. Kid me. Radical Ninja. Actually, I think I've only played this once before. So maybe we'll be able to get the high score. Twenty-five nine hundred is the high score we are trying to beat. Never got around to requesting it. Cool. There's the marquee, which is very 80s looking. Or it's kind of 90s actually, with all these kind of weird colors. <laughs> all right, let's play some Kid Nikki. This was another game that I played in a lot in arcade. Oh, that's cool. Let me turn off Pokemon. There we go. <laughs> He's went to ninja school too. He's at trainer school. Oh my. Turn it down a little bit. Oh my. Oh my. I'm supposed to hit those. That was unexpected. Well, I didn't beat it. The music is great. I didn't even get close the first try. Well, it, it kind of sucked because it was a warm-up game. Exactly. Plus, I didn't know I couldn't touch one of those. I thought I was collecting them. I thought they were collectibles. They looked so cute. I was like, oh, those can't be bad guys. I was wrong. All right, let's do it. I thought I hit it.
Yeah, I thought there was like a little bridge there. Apparently not. <laughs> this kid trying to avenge. That's what it looked like. Yeah, if you saw the opening, there's like a bird and then he gets shot through an arrow. And then he like is, he rages out and jumps through the, the window. So, all right, let's try this again. He's at ninja school. His pet bird gets, and he goes, we'll help you. Welcome in, Summer Skin. Welcome, welcome. Yes, they were playing just chatting. Thank you so much for the raid. 28-8. Oh, I beat it. There we go. 28-8. <laughs> Welcome, raiders. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Twenty-eight eight. <laughs> hey, I'm doing well. How have you been doing? You were doing a cooking stream. Nice. Nice. Let's see, I have I have a, a raid thing. There we go. Oh, welcome, welcome raiders. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm Jay Fries. I do a lot of retro variety. I met Summer at TwitchCon, and uh, and yeah, thank you for the raid. This is the first time I've I've gotten a raid from you. I I don't think I've raided you yet either. <laughs> uh and and uh but yeah uh i do a lot of retro variety we're playing pokemon moon right now <laughs> oh was that not was that not you oh sure yeah no <laughs> no, no, you did it right. <laughs> Sunshine Unleashed. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but we play games that we're currently playing game off the arcade machine, and that's what we're doing right now. You new to the raid thing? Aw. <laughs> Uh, 
hey, welcome back, Matthew J. Well, so uh, yeah, thank you so much for for finally uh, getting to meet up. I've seen you on a few times. I think I've maybe lurked in your stream a few times. <laughs> hey, Bo Beep, welcome, welcome. So yeah, so that's that's my stream. I play a lot of retro variety. We're currently playing Pokemon Moon. I'm going to be playing a lot of Mario games. We play games off the arcade machine like we currently are. And another raid is coming. Boy, thanks, Shell Shock. <laughs> More raiders. It's a double raid. I was just in the middle of talking. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I, yeah, we've had a lot of raids tonight. Yeah, it's been crazy. Thank you so much. Hey, Shellshock. Welcome, welcome. I was just saying, I was just giving my spiel. <laughs> so I'm a retro variety streamer. Everyone coming in from Sh Shellshock Prime. I play a lot of uh, retro games, although I did play a PS5 game recently. So, oh, thank you. Yeah, so I'm coming up on my fourth stream anniversary. And so, yeah, it's been, this is like my, my streamer den here. Thanks for the lurk, Bo Peep. Let's see, why isn't that working? There we go. There's, there's my, my streaming den, my office. Uh, Rowlet was my starter. And yeah, we have the arcade machine. We have a lot of retro games we're currently playing games off the arcade machine and then we're going to get back to uh pokemon moon oh thanks yeah it's just been you know if you go back and look if you go over to my youtube channel uh you can see uh all the oh thank you hope you have a good night too thank you so much for the raid and and welcome everyone coming from summer skins uh stream um, but yeah, it's, if you go back and look on my YouTube channel, you can go look at my first streams. My room looks nothing like this. It has evolved over the four years. So, <laughs> but you know what we're going to do though? First is we are going to do a, uh, let me switch to arcade real quick. And we're going to do a shout out actually. We're going to do it from this screen. We're going to shout out. We're going to play a clip from Summer Skin, and y'all should go give her a follow. On the TikToks. Oh. Hold on a sec. Hold on a oh, sec. Just Hold dance. on a sec. We got to get this going out. We got to get this. Boom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Win Claire with a Ooh. subscription. Thank you so much, Jabo. Jaboom! Oh no, it's gonna come back again. Jaboom! <laughs> Win Claire! Thank you so much. There you go, much. look at all the fire. Jaboom! Yo, girl. What the only thing I have is uh but why is everything everything is going so slow? Uh where is there it is. This is the only explosions I have. You lose, big guy. Let's see, it knocks out my lights. <laughs> I will have to check out Summer's Just Dance uh, streams. I will definitely do that. Like I said, me and Summer, we did, she sat behind me at one of the talks at, at uh, TwitchCon, and we got to know each other there before we were even following each other on Twitch. <laughs> it was cool. At, at TwitchCon, if you ever get a chance to go to TwitchCon, it looks like it's going to be in San Diego this year, and it'll probably be better than Las Vegas. Uh, but I still had a fun time at TwitchCon. It's just so many. It's amazing how many people go to TwitchCon. There was a lot of people there. All right, and let's play a clip from Shellshock. And y'all should go give him a follow.
Good. And Shell Shock plays a lot of retro too. This looks like, is this like a new indie retro like game? You have obliterated socket, but the adventure continues. My health comes back too. Cool. Well, thanks. Thanks again for the raid. And PAX. I've never gone to PAX. Yeah, you want TwitchCon? Yeah, it would be cooler if they'd move those around. I would like them to come to the East Coast so I don't have to go all the way to the West Coast. Um, but yeah, that's the thing is, I guess there is PAX East, but that still has me going all the way up to like New York. So, um, come to Florida <laughs> to actually don't come to Florida, stay where you're at. I'll travel to you. <laughs> is it in Boston? Not New York. Okay. All right, let's play. Let's uh, let's go back. Let's play one more game of Kid Nicky, uh, and then we will. Uh, is in Philly if you like board games. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize they had like multiple uh, multiple things. All right, we're gonna play one more game of Kid Nicky. See if I can beat twenty eighty eight. Yeah, I wish I wish all co conferences kind of moved around and didn't stay in one place. It would be it would be so much better if they moved around. But I under also understand logistics and now uh wanting to move it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get I didn't get very far. <laughs> All right. Got greedy. <laughs> Thirty-six five. Thirty-six five. 
I beat it again. 36,500. All right. Yeah, they are going to be in the in San Diego for the next few years. Thank you, Renchi Kinku. Hope you've been doing well. All right, let me. What are we doing on time? <laughs> you have another high score. Okay, yeah, let me write that down. I don't. Uh... I don't update high scores real time anymore because they just, they take forever and the website has a lot of memory to it and all that stuff. So let me uh, write that down. So kid, Nikki, uh, Asim, two, and 36,500. So I will update that off stream. Been well? Yeah, I've been doing really well. All right, let me, uh, let's go back to playing. Although, here, let me do that. And let me check out my stream real quick. Make sure the title is correct. We're out of retro mode. We are. Okay. All right. Turn the music back on. Boop. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like, where's the DS? Where is the DS? I plugged it in so I don't lose battery. Wow, yeah, there you go. Where's the DS? <laughs> Thank you, Lemon Square. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to just go in here. Hey there, J Fries. I must have passed you two somehow. Yeah. But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Boy, my frame rate is really low. <laughs> there it goes. Professor, uh, Professor Kakuki. Kukuki, yeah. <laughs> Is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the ringer, teach. <laughs> four trainers. He, he has his fingers don't separate, so everything has to be four. You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, J Prize. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Yeah. Actually, Speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Oh my goodness, he gave me experience share already? Holy crap. You opened up the key items pocket and put experience share away. If you keep that experience share, oh yeah, all the Pokemon on your team can get experience points from battle. The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. All right, let the lesson begin. <laughs> she may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. Oh, uh, uh, well, sorry. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a, a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what type of moves will work best on it in your next battle. <clears throat> Wandering around in the tall grass to meet a lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Battle all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Find those four Pokemon trainers. All right. Well, first, don't we need to, like, turn on experience share? Oh, it's already on. How nice of it. Right, I guess we just need to wander around. You want to know why I'm standing here? 
because I'm the strongest, that's why. I won't even bother battling you unless you can beat everyone else here. Oh. Okay, fine. Fine. This is this a trainer, is this little kid? Boy, you're awfully close. Stand so close and want to battle you. Is that is that what you want? Then I'll show you how I to fight up close and personal. This is creepy. Preschooler Maya. Let's go beat up on these kids. Reminds me like in Seinfeld when Kramer was learning uh, karate, or as he said, karate. Uh, and he just beat up on little kids. I don't have like a fire Pokemon. I guess I could use... Um, We'll use Peckham. Oh, Matthew J. Uh, it would not accept butt plug, so we had to name it plug, uh, plug butt. Oh, that's not any good either. Wow, it's like I have nothing that's good against this thing. Grass will work? Oh, okay. Oh, it's rock. For some reason, I you know it's uh, I was thinking it was uh, not rock. I thought it was uh, uh, wood. Is there even a wood type, or am I just going crazy? I guess there's not a wood type. There's a grass type, and I was thinking it was a grass. Type. <clears throat> Is it an unevolved? What was that one? Pseudo Wudo or something like that? <laughs> You're muted. Pseudo random numbers? That's correct. You need to seed your random number generator. Pseudo, uh, pseudo, pseudo do. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Your style of battle, it's pretty great, you know. Gotta plug on in. All right. Let us play some prize quest. Exclamation mark join if you'd like to play some prize quest. What is going on with We're having 
having a special today. On nothing! You're buying a potion. It might prevent death. Side effects might include growing mushrooms and warrant Ready for and loss of sensation in naughty places. If you played last game. You can now join. <laughs> Ready for battle. There. Ready for action. Ready for action. I reformulated my potions with 25% less lead. Ready for We're battle. Closed. Get out of here. All right. I am going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. See you in a second. Welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else you gonna go? Ready for action. Ready for action.
ready for action. Ready for battle. Good luck. You'll certainly need it.
having a special today. Enough it! I reformulated my potions with 25% less lead. Ready for action. Ready for battle. 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 Good luck. You'll certainly need it.
Hello. <laughs> Matthew J, you've spent a lot of time in this game on your back. Just one more hit. Maybe two. There you go. <laughs> Scorpio did it. Yay! Hey, Zab. Welcome back. Yay! Matthew J. You die, you fry. 8% and still wins the fry. <laughs> Jeez. Just in 28%, no fry for you. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did plug it in. Mad about you. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, exactly. You were eating Domino's pizza. It's going well. We're in these, we're in the school, beating up on preschoolers. Meow, to use fake out, use your opponents, make your opponents flinch. Look at your Pokemon, whether it has any claws or not now, it would probably get a kick out of this one. Oh, is that a TM? No, it's an item. In Pokemon battles, the Pokemon with the highest speed stat go gets to act first. But with Quick Claw, your Pokemon should be able to attack first regardless of its speed. Or sometimes, anyway. It's better than nothing. Okay. That must be a hold item. Alright, thanks for the lurch, Houston. Well, I guess I will give it to... Boy... There we go. Uh, I, ha I we have you know what we haven't seen the first one. We haven't seen the first Dune. I mean, well, we've seen the the one from the '80s, but we haven't seen the uh, the uh, the new one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm supposed to be attacking. Kids. Is this a whole room of kids I can attack? I can read, hear, watch. Moves have types just like Pokemon. If you use a move that's the same type as your Pokemon, it will get a special boost in power. We occasionally ask Professor Kukuki to run a special class for our school. He's done a great deal of research into Pokemon moves after all. He's an odd fellow, though. Heading my Pokemon makes me happy, too. Spice! Who do you think picks up all the Pokeballs you throw that don't catch any Pokemon? <laughs> Good question. Pokemon moves have PP. Mmm. Power points. If the PP... <laughs> for a move runs out... Your Pokemon won't be able to use it anymore. Not till you get it restored, I mean. And you can just take it to a Pokemon Center for that. Wow, these kids are so smart. Who am I supposed to be fighting? Am I supposed to be fighting this kid? I'll teach you the tactics that I learned here at school by beating you with them. I know. I was laughing at PP as well. We are preschoolers too. <laughs> oh my 
goodness, the Metapod. The frame rate's so low. Does help. It's much fun, much more fun. Ghost. That's wild. The user attacks the target while shouting in a startling fashion. This may also make the target flinch. Guess I'll lose. I'll lose growl. I have no use for growl. Oh, I forgot we got we got experience share. Aha! I don't know about tactics and stuff because I haven't been doing my homework. Poisoning an opponent will sl slowly drain its HP. Paralyzing him can prevent its attacks. Pokemon moves can have all kinds of effects, so watch out for them. Look a Pokeball. Oh. <gasps> it's a Meowth! Oh, we gotta capture it. That's so cute. <laughs> what do we have in the cube? Uh, is it pass? Oh no, do we we haven't we haven't captured one for evil bud.
We're gonna do one more. Oh. Ah, it flinched me. Well, we have... So, Evil Bud wanted to name the next one. Uh, so, Pass, you had uh, uh, redeemed it. Uh, yeah, you... What do you want me to name the next one I capture? Congrats, you registered a Pokemon in your Pokedex. It is a red letter day, and I'm about as red as anything. When it when its uh, delicate pride is wounded, or when the gold coin on its forehead is dirtied, oh, I didn't know that was a coin, it flies into a hysterical rage. Rage. All right, he wanted to name it, was it Croc? Okay. R O N A All right. Ball Zack. <laughs> All right. I'm going to write that down cuz I don't think I'll remember it. They are backed up. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> oh, uh, Magnemite. We should capture that too. God, plug butt is terrible. Hey, Murray. You'll stay for Balzac. That's a good one for Balzac. Right there. I'm just trying to decide which one to, to use on him. I don't want to, I don't want to kill him. Use tackle. Snowy, how's it going? Better not kill Poi.
No, no. Good. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay, good. Great. You know how much I love confusion. All right, we're going to do a tackle. I want to get it into the red. Oh my God. Did I hurt myself? Oceans did 50. Got your Joy-Cons back. Okay. And, and are they fixed? Are they much better? Super potions are 50. Okay, what are the others? 20? There we go, Balzac. <laughs> Wait, oh, you want it to be B A L L instead of B A W L? ball it is a ball so that might make sense it sends out electromagnetic magnetic waves which let it float through the air touching it while it, it's eating electricity will give you a full body shock okay ball Okay, yeah. Okay, it accepted it. Oh, I can add it to my party. Um, sure, let's add it to the party. That's nice. That's a new that's a new thing. Uh, so, you know, plug butt has been terrible. So, we're going to get rid of plug butt. That's much nicer. All right, have a good one, Pass. Okay, there was a Pokeball over here somewhere. Oh, come on, I saw it. Oh, there it is. Hiding it in the 3D view. Okay, we haven't gotten everybody yet. You want to know why I'm standing here? It's the strongest. Okay, so we need to go find other people. Another Pokeball. Charging your new set now. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Didn't fix them. They just gave you brand new ones. Okay. Figured. Yeah, you know, it's cheaper for, for people to do, for them to do that. Good. Thank you. Did she heal all of them? Good. That's what I was hoping she would do. Better heal all of them. She did. 
All right. This looks like a, a grave. Plugbutt Why is was, there a grave there? Plugbutt was what it would take. Well, I got rid of Plugbutt. Oh, did you? Yeah. Plugbutt? Oh, Plugbutt was a bug. Like a ladybug. Type. I've been waiting here for you because the teacher told me to. If you beat my Pokemon, I'll give you a simple but very important lesson. Says the guy with 11 pairs. Youth athlete. Go, Balzac. Yeah, super effective. If you use items or moves to boost your team's stats, you can increase how much damage your Pokemon deal and lessen how much they take. If you ever want to be a Pokemon champion, then that's a total basic. Got that? Four. Okay, so now let's go take on this kid. He's gone. Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> you want to know why I want to be strongest? Because it's cool to be strong. Duh. Okay. That's, that is crazy talk. Rising Star Joseph. Oh my goodness, the Grimer looks like it's been eating some honey or something. I don't know what's dripping off of it. Really, I don't think this is going to affect it. Ooh, that hurt Balzac. Man, honey. <laughs> oh, it's got dark. Okay, I'll try that next. I don't even know what he is. Poison? dynamic camera. That's true. Neil hasn't really said that much. The camera is dynamic, Neil. It's not always... I know right this second it is, but see how it flies around? I mean, it did that in the last game, didn't it? I think it might have done that in the last game. It did game. this kind of stuff, yeah. The, all, it would, like, l swirl around and everything. Yeah. It would be better if there wasn't, like, a big bag of trash sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, it still ends up just the same. I mean, I, I, it's not even that my complaint was even really ever that invalid. All I really requested was that they, you know, the one on the right be on the left and the one on the left be on the right, you know, and they are at a different angle. I mean, the same angle, but different. <laughs> you know, break it up some. Give us some variety. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Any normal television or film production would know to do this. It's extremely frustrating, but you're stronger than me. Ah, uh, now that wasn't cool at all. Maybe I should aim for being pretty instead. Because <laughs> it's binary. You're either strong or you're pretty. But fine, whatever. I can admit it when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward even. Take this technical machine. Work up. Work up. <laughs> Always aim for party. <laughs> okay, first thing to know about TMs. Technical machines teach new techniques. They'll give your Pokemon a new move in a flash. But if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, then too bad. You're up the creek, pal. Second thing to know about TMs. You can use a TM as many times as you want on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out or get used up. Pretty nice gift for me, huh? Oh, that's the school bell. Attention all students. Would J Fries please come to the office on the second floor? J Fries to the 2F office, please. What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? Nothing! <laughs> That's what you say. Ow. He is so distrusting. I, just, oh, I didn't even see what it said. Ball Zack. Why didn't she heal my Pokemon while she was talking to me? Here, come here, lady. I didn't even see up oh, I was gonna say I didn't see stairs. There they are. J Fries. I can't believe that you beat all of my students. Fantastic! After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? Are you ready to take me on? Sure. <laughs> As a teacher, I've got to see for, uh, for myself what you did to beat four of my students. Let the beatings commence. Uh-oh, another Magnemite. Oh, not bag. Okay, mom. Not very effective. Well, I don't have any ground moves yet.
Yeah, my moves right now are very limited. Not too happy about that. Fighting or fire? Guess what? I don't have fighting or fire. I have nothing. I, I guess I'll just use tackle. I'm not too happy with my Pokemon distribution so far. Peckham. Oh, I do have a fighting. <laughs> oh, he just got it, though. He just got it from leveling up, attacking the first one. Oh, don't kill him. Battle of Scratches. Pokey Nerd. <laughs> oh, I've played so many of these games now. It's Cat Scratch Fever. No, it's the, it's the game. Yeah, it's 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 my Snicker stream isn't. Uh, it, I'm not dropping frames, but the game is. It's not. Did you just sing Ted Nugent? <laughs> I did. Well, it's because we got two cats and they're scratching each other. So I sang Cat Scratch Fever. That is the worst song ever. Yeah. But he's one of the worst people. Sensational. Give me all your money, teacher. Nice. 
Maybe you'd like to take over as teacher here for me. All joking aside though, I do want to take these, these from me. It's a little reward for beating me. Ooh, five great balls. <laughs> Chocolate salty balls. They're great balls. They're mm. better than normal Pokeballs. Delicious balls. Know your Pokemon and know their moves. Those are the basics of being a trainer. How about it? Who's that? Is it Ilama? Greetings, Captain Ilama here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You look so very delightful in battle, but I had no choice but to summon you here. This is J Fries, who moved here to Alola from the Kanto region. He's got a real sense for how to use moves, and I think he's gonna be go far as a trainer. Yeah. I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island of Kahua. The island Kahuna. My trial is held in Ver Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Ilma. You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass and hope. Uoli City. Perhaps you'll want to find out your team a bit before attempting my trial. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. Bye. Oh yeah. <laughs> I reported to the folks upstairs about that Tauros blocking the road out front again. That guy Tauros is pretty much a celebrity here on Melameli, you know? Well, I guess it's time that we dismiss you from school, J Fries. Attention all students, J. Fries has completed his lesson at the trainer's school. <laughs> Be good to your Pokemon, and try to follow through with those status conditions too. Good luck with your island challenge. I hope you get close to a lot of new people. J. Fries, enjoy your island challenge and be sure to use the skills you learned here at trainer's school. Good luck, future champion. Make sure you use that TM. Make that PM, that your Pokemon, the strongest. Show them what you're made of, j Prize. You seem to be in perfect sync with your Magnemite, weren't you? Um, since you've come this far together, why don't I show you some more of the city? Come on, there's lots to see. Where am I going to drop all these people and just be on my own? J Fries, over here. You know, I was really impressed seeing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. And even back when you weren't yet a Pokemon trainer, J Fries, you were able to save Nebby. You were chosen by a Pokemon so quickly, I understand why now. Oh, I forgot about Tauros. I thought someone got it. <laughs> Has the professor become Macho Man on stream? Yeah, it's kind of the voice I'm using for it for him. <laughs> If it isn't Lily and J Fries. Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time I get old Taurus back home. Oh, but why don't you give him a little pat first, J Fries? He wants you to pet that big old Taurus? If I had a pulse, I'd be racing now. There, I pet it. I'll make it go away. Ha ha ha, you see that? This rascal already loves you. 
Pokemon become happier when you show them some care. Wahaha! <laughs> oh, the places you'll go, child. As you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. The Kahunas sure are something, huh? Able to claim a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Tauros plenty and all, but it's pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. So weird. You don't like petting bulls. So where are you two off to now? I was thinking of uh, I would show J Fries around Hululi's <laughs> city a bit. Nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. J Fries just got here to Alola, huh? Then let me tag along too. I want to go get something good to eat. All right, let's all go together. Then what are you waiting for? This way, come on. Oh, how? I guess we should go catch up with him before he gets too far, J Fries. Uh, Hoa. All. Oli. City is the biggest city in all of Alola. I don't know about you, but I'm already for a nice stroll around. Oh, only it's it's not fair he he clears his talk too fast on your you on YouTube I see that what? Oh, I guess I could slow down message speed. What are you talking about, Matthew J? I mean, yeah, I mean, it, that's why we have the chat here is so that you can see it on the YouTubes. I'm not broadcasting on YouTube at the same time. I've thought about it. But I kind of just want one chat. I don't want to be looking, uh, it was a YouTube jab. Oh, okay. I've thought about, uh, Streaming on both YouTube and TikTok. The YouTubes. Alright. It's 1.15 in the morning, so it's time for me to wrap it up and go to bed. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So next time I see you, it will be... Friday. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. That's how tired I am. <laughs> it was iconic. That was, that is iconic. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> um, if you can't be here live, as we were just talking, you can go over to YouTube and uh, ch uh, check out all the VODs over there on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button and hit subscribe. Make a comment. Any interaction is awesome. <laughs> I'm getting close to 500 subscribers on YouTube. Um, thank you to all these people over here. They're my subscribers. They get ad-free viewing. All those emotes. Look at all those emotes. And my thanks. As always, you don't have to subscribe. Uh, just show up be here you don't have to interact in chat you can just lurk <laughs> if you want to hang out between streams there's our discord <clears throat> and there's our raid messages first one if you're a subscriber and the second one if you're not and i have still so much trouble uh copying my own messages Mainly because it keeps popping up. <coughs> Excuse me. All those Randy Savage. Uh... I cannot copy my message at all. Why can't I copy that? There it goes. 
Oh yeah. Oh, thank you, Snowy. Alright, there. I got my message correct. Alright, let's see who's who's out there that we can uh, raid. Ah! I am tired. I am ready for some betty bye. I am ready for bed. Da, da. I don't think we, either of us, actually eat Slender. Oh, what, yes. Slim Jims? Yeah. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jam. I don't know that I've ever actually had one. Uh, I can't remember if I've had one either. They always looked gross to me when I was a kid. It's not something my parents would ever get. Yeah. Like, I can remember asking about it and them telling me it was gross. I mean, I, I don't mind, like, jerky, but I kind of have to be in the mood for it. It's not, like, something I want all the time. Because you get jerky burps. Uh, yeah, we can go over to Magna Lupus, who's playing, still playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. <laughs> Seems like he's been playing that a lot. They're not great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like beef jerky. I haven't had it forever, but um, yeah. Do we need to go out to Bucky's and get you some jerky from the no. jerky bar? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right, thank you again, everybody, for being here. I hope you have a great week. Get some good sleeps. I need some good sleeps. Um, your new air fryer can make jerky. There you go. Make some jerky. <laughs> then put it in an envelope and mail it to me, and then I'll try some beef jerky live on. I I'm sure that would be really tasty after f going all the way from Ireland to the United States. <clears throat> you didn't go to Bucky's when you visited Texas? Were they not a thing yet? Or if you've been, I don't know if they're in Austin yet. I don't know where they are. We go to the one in Dallas when we're in Texas, and then they built two here in Florida. And we went to both of them <laughs> on our way to visit a friend. All right. Thank you again, everyone, for being here. Stay safe, be kind, and see you next time. Hey, thanks, Oceanic. Live long and prosper to you, too. Love you all. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>